Brooke, when she was born, she was born very healthy. 27 days later, she had uh, gotten sick on us. On the way to the hospital, she stopped crying. And I reached back and she wasn't breathing. So right then and there, I got on my knees, right in the middle of the ER. Whatever's wrong with her, give it to me. And they came in, they said, you know, she's stabilized. Comes her baptism day, I was like so tired. She was brought to the hospital with uh, chest pain and was found to have had uh, a small heart attack. She was terrified of the possibility of needing uh, open heart surgery. Start thinking of my kids. And certainly when you're a young person and you, and you, and you have young children and, and you have your whole life ahead of you. He goes, you know, let's pray about this. There's more to being a human than um, what, what's contained in, in a book. Then I knew I was going to be okay because he believed in God and believed in power of prayer. I, the day of the surgery was a fairly routine day, no, no other, nothing that I can remember that was out of the ordinary. She went to the operating room, she had a fairly uneventful operation. So they sat me up and I breathed in and I coughed and all of a sudden... They noticed that her, her blood pressure was starting to fall. I just felt like my whole body was falling back. We put little plastic drainage tubes in the chest. And I kept on saying, help me, help me and those drainage tubes started filling up with blood. They're all scrambling and look, and I'm still watching them. Now I've got, uh, you know, a young woman with young children who all of a sudden is, is dying immediately. And on this side with this gentleman, and I kept on thinking, okay, he's not in scrubs. What is he doing here? Her heart stopped, and then it was, and then it went from, the focus went from trying to figure out where the bleeding was to just saving her, saving her, you know, saving her, saving her life. gentleman was up here and he said Tammy come with me so he grabbed my hand I do remember um, praying uh, for her we're standing there well watching everybody else around my body everybody was doing everything they could I kept on thinking oh man this is great I don't have any pain I started basically massaging the heart. My angel was telling me, come on, it's time. And over in the corner, there was a big, it was a bright light. It was warmth. I passed my kids and I passed my husband. And I almost got in. I know for a fact my grandmother died a long time ago. And me and her were really close but we just kept going and kept going. And my angel came back. 
you've got to go back. I'm like, no, because that warmth, you know, it's really hard to describe what it is. You know how when you have your very first child and they come in and you feel this awestruck love for that child? It is tenfold of that. I've never felt so much love. All those stupid things that you worry back back here doesn't mean anything from up here, up there. You know there's all those people waiting for you to come in. I remember four days after that, letting we watched her walk out of the hospital, which was absolutely amazing. I don't take life so seriously because, you know, God's going to handle it. Each day is a, is a precious gift. God takes care of everything. People just need to give him a chance. Not everything that occurred that day was, you know, as a result of, of, of what we did. I know where we're all going. You don't have to worry about that. Don't live like you're dying. Live like you're living.